Bacon and welcome to Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Hahn. In another video I showed you how to make Peking duck by taking a whole duck and suspending it from the ceiling in front of a fan like a phantasmagorical scene from a David Lynch film. In this video I'm going to make crispy aromatic duck which is different and all we do is we take pieces of duck and fry them. For my crispy aromatic duck I've got two pieces of duck these are both breasts but you could use thighs as well. I've got three star anise, two sticks of cinnamon which I've broken up, three thickish slices of ginger, half a teaspoon of black peppercorns and half a teaspoon of cloves. If you want to be really fancy you can use Szechuan peppercorns and two spring onions. Start by feeling the skin for any quills and if there are any left in just pull them out with your fingers. That's fine. And when you're happy that you've got all the quills out, take some salt and rub the duck really well with salt all over both sides. Don't worry too much about the amount of salt you're adding because most of it won't end up in the final dish. Okay, that's great. Pop the pieces of duck into a bowl and add on all of the spices. And finally the spring onions. Now I need to add some liquid into this and if you're okay with alcohol in your cooking you can add either some rice wine, Chinese rice wine or some dry sherry. But I've managed to find some alcohol free pastis which has a beautiful aniseed flavour which complements these spices really well. So I'll add in about a hundred mils of the alcohol free pastis. Now I'm going to cover this and put this in the fridge to marinade for about four to six hours. This has been marinating for six or seven hours and it smells amazing. Now it's time to put it in the wok steamer. I've got about an inch and a half of water in my wok and I'll add in my large wok steamer and then a small plate or shallow dish and then add on the duck. Make sure you add on all the spices and the juices. Now cover, turn on the heat and bring the water to the boil. When the water comes to the boil and you can see steam escaping, steam now for three hours. Make sure you top up the water level about every half an hour with boiling water. After at least three hours, turn off the heat, open up the steamer and voila! Now allow it to cool a bit before you remove it from the steamer. When the duck pieces are cool enough to handle, transfer them onto a plate and allow them to cool completely. You can pop them in the fridge for a few hours if you like. Don't throw away the juices. This makes a tremendous stock for a soup. After a few hours in the fridge, these are well chilled and pretty aromatic. So let's make them crispy. To make the duck crispy I've put them skin side down in the basket of my deep fat fryer and I'm going to deep fry them at 180 degrees C for about six minutes. After six minutes turn the duck pieces over and fry again for one more minute. Then remove from the oil and drain on some kitchen paper. It's crispy, it's aromatic and it's duck. Now all we have to do is shred it. Serve the duck with some sliced cucumber and spring onions, some mandarin pancakes and some hoisin or plum sauce. Wonderful! Hmm, Peking duck, crispy aromatic duck, Peking duck or crispy aromatic duck. You decide. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihon. Until next time, Kuda Hafiz!